Hello everyone, I'm with me, and today we're going to be responding to a video, Five Questions for Atheists. Now, before I start this video, I just want to just want to say one thing before I start watching it, because this is the first time I'm watching it. He seems like a respectable guy. I mean, I looked at the description, and his questions don't seem that bad. They just seem like, you know, just questions. So, uh, hopefully, this will go well. Anyways, let's get on with it. Anyway, the first question is, why, why are you guys, uh, why are you an atheist? Alright, why am I an atheist? I'm an atheist because I used to believe in God, and, uh, I've been questioning my beliefs, and one night I asked God, Hey God, show me a sign, and there was no sign, nothing happened. And I begged God, but there was no response, nothing happened that night. And I, and I, I cried, I cried all night, and eventually I just cried myself to sleep. Eventually, a few days later, I realized that there is no point in being sad over something that doesn't even exist. And eventually, I looked at even more evidence, and I realized, man, was I stupid. There's so much evidence against the Bible, and really, the only arguments creationists have that I looked are just, you can't explain it arguments, basically. Where do morals come from? What if you're wrong? Hell, I even got the what if you're wrong at school one time. It wasn't any, it wasn't any hate hatred for me it was just a simple question what if you're wrong and i didn't have an answer for it at the time but now i do so yeah i'm an atheist because well god didn't answer me at all if he exists he didn't answer <laughs> and uh, now if if the christian god does exist um he's uh he's gonna send me to hell because he broke my heart <laughs> all right next question the second question would be, um, do you know much about the Christian God? Um, I know this might seem sound kind of weird to the fact that I know you guys don't believe in the Christian God. Uh, however, um, due to the fact you've done your research um, and you've studied thoroughly and um, um, the realities of life, you've come to the conclusion that where you're at. Of I know a lot about the Christian God. In fact, one of the reasons why I became an atheist was because I started reading up on the Bible, and I noticed a bunch of atrocities that God has made, has done, and it, it horrified me. It was awful. And the reason why it's good for God to do that is just because he's God, and that it's good, apparently. And I'm not supposed to judge God or question him because it's bad and evil. And it just, it, it just really pissed me off how like wow so i do know a lot about the christian god which is why i left the religion in the first place as we all know christians uh come to know god um more as you say intimately or more um closely through the bible um which is the testimony of how god has showed and revealed himself throughout the centuries all right, this isn't a question, but I do want to respond to, to that. I knew God really intimately, and I really felt as if he was there and Christ was there. But they weren't. It was all in my head. It, was, it, really, it really hurt me because I really did believe in God and, and Jesus and all that shit. And it just really it affected me like severely. So I did know him really in intimately, or at least I thought I did. It's like that ex you had, and like you're like, oh man, we're in love, we're great together. And then one day she's just like, oh hey, uh, I don't like you. I didn't like you at all. It's like, what? What do you mean? And it's like, it, it's kind of like that, except, except the ex didn't even exist in the first place. Um, the third question I have um, would be, is when when you think of the Judeo-Christian God, what's the first thing that comes to mind without you having to reflect and think? If you have the first thing that comes to mind, uh, what do you think about the Christian God? The first thing that comes to mind is this image right here. 
That's literally the first thing that comes to mind. Another thing that comes to mind is Jesus. Yeah, that's another one. My atheism. Moving on. Uh, and then question number four. Uh, question number four would be, uh, what is God's character? Uh, who is he? What is it? what is in his nature? What do you th who do you think he is? He's good, evil, bad, whatever. Just uh, what? Who is God in his character? I think God is a sick, evil bastard. Um, reason being is the idea of hell, the idea of hell in general, burning for all eternity in hell forever. Like literally forever. Billions of years could pass by and you're still down there. And if you don't believe in him, or if you have a God before him, you're going to hell. Basically. And I feel like that's bullshit. If I'm going to be sent to hell because God made me not believe in him, it's bull. It's just baloney. It's bullshit. If you are an all-knowing, all-powerful God, then why the hell am I going to hell for not believing in you? If he exists, he's an evil bastard. For not only sending me to hell, but for sending most of my family and most of my friends to hell as well. And then following question number four is question number five was how did you come to these conclusions? Um, how did what, what made you what makes you think that his the theology of God I guess you can say uh, is what you came to your conclusion? Um, what 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 about him uh, made you believe uh, that? That's his character. What led me to those conclusions? Again, like I said, you know, I read up on the Bible, saw God's atrocities, thought of the idea of hell and how horrible it is. The manipulation the church uses for children is pretty fucked up. And yeah, God is pretty evil in general. He's just a douchebag. Like, he kills more people than Satan does in the Bible. Like I said, the idea of hell, the atrocities God did, the fact that he doesn't abolish slavery. In fact, he, he's like, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do slavery, it's fine. But, but God, but, but that's evil. No, it's not evil, I, I'm good. I'm an all-knowing, all-powerful God, I'm good, slavery's fine. And then people use the argument that slavery was different in biblical times than it was in our times. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's still slavery, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's the end of the video, that's the end of my answers. So, um, again, this guy seems pretty respectable. I did talk about one point that he made that I was like, hang on a second, pal. But, other than that, he seemed pretty respectable, and he just seemed to be genuinely curious. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye bye Fucking dog, shut the fuck up. Fucking dog, fuck you, dog. Fucking piece of shit. God damn it, fucking dog.